Hey guys, so I finally remembered to upload this Two of Cups reading. I was going on about it about a week, maybe two weeks ago, well before Valentine's Day anyway, um, and it came, it kind of popped back up in a couple of other readings and I kind of mentioned it. Uh, and I've just, I've kind of like either been too busy or like been too distracted or my back has hurt from sitting on the floor for doing so many readings that I just kind of like, I always meant to upload it and then I kind of forgot about it and then finally something jogged my memory and I was like right I need to look up because what I do is um if I do it off camera I set it up like this and I actually take a, a photo of it and kind of write the songs over it so it's all in like a photo um so that I can recreate the reading and kind of remember what came through so the main thing is it's something to do with this two of cups now I can't remember why I ended up doing a reading on this two of cups oh I saw it in a dream I remember now as soon as I say I can't remember I remember it so they were showing me this in a dream and I can't even remember which sign it was for now but they were showing it me like this and then they were showing it me like this and they were saying no matter which way you look at it it's the same so it's like the number 69 right you can turn it either way up <laughs> lol lewd so um, I remember saying that like which reading it was I remember saying it was like um one of the first synchronistic numbers I start, started to see everywhere was the number 69 because it's like it's it's like the lewd number right so <laughs> I kept seeing it everywhere and like the more I saw it the more I started to see it and I was like and it was like the universe was like right we know how to get Cinderella's attention we'll show her this lewd number that you'll notice that one <laughs> so where everybody else was seeing like 11 11 I was like lol 69 but it's the same kind of thing it's like no matter which way you look at it you it's the same it's funny because I was talking about my dad uh, was born on the Isle of Man and the uh the motto for the Isle of Man is no no matter which way you throw us uh it will stand uh so it means like um doesn't matter who's invading them who's running the country they're going to stand they're going to keep running uh but it's that kind of thing it's like no matter which way you look at it it still stands like whichever angle you take on this situation it's it's the same so the two of emotions is actually the two of cups it talks about um an equal relationship equal give and take two people who see eye to eye they could be very very different you know one's coming from one angle one's coming from the other whoops <laughs> but they do see they do see things the same it's the equals right um so let me just grab um the book and i'll read you what it actually says about this card Okay, so here we go. I'll read you the description of this one. Um, love, relationships, friendship, romance, partnerships, connecting with others, soulmates, mutual attraction, catalysts for creative collaborations. Prompt, consorting with devotion. The two of the emotions offers a mutual attraction that leaves them floating helplessly in the waters of love and tumbling into the future together. All the feels. They find themselves on the same wavelength, impossibly drawn to this connection. Um, that blossomed so easily with emotions this synced they know that this connection is one that will mean a lasting partnership they are ready to commit their hearts for the long term wait until you see some of the other cards they collaborate working and twisting together in ways that allow them to envision and create this blended reality this pairing is available to you now and requires honest communication and total authenticity so sink fearlessly into the realization that it's time to share yourself wholeheartedly with another this is the only way to drift into the love that's being offered allow your entangled hearts to do the rest entangled enriched souls perfectly pitched as our spiral is hitched new emotion bewitched sounds perfect right easy like yeah what's the problem what's the hold up let's go well mm, mm, now uh we do have a, a matching pair here so as i said the two of cups is two people coming together we have the muse of materials and the queen of materials this is the king and king and queen of pentacles um in the tarot uh, so this is a true pair, a true match. Normally in the tarot, the queen and king of pentacles are a married couple. They build a house and home together. And you have the marriage card here as well, right? Everything's looking really good so far. Judication, right? Two people could be, you know, going before a judge and coming together. Um, wishing well, dreams and wishes come true. Destiny, destined path, uh, building bridges. Um, something's not quite right though. So I don't know if... There's a problem in this relationship um, where there may need to be some sort of apology to build a bridge or if somebody's already in a commitment or somebody's going to take a gamble and risk risk like proposing perhaps 
but this judication sometimes does mean a, a parting of ways um also it worries me that this this hearth card is in the reverse so comfort hearth uh, it means like ha house and home right but it's in the reverse so the, a reason why it could be in a reverse if so I'm seeing it as positive is because one of the people is upside down right it's like you could turn it that way and then the other person's upside down so it's almost like hang on how do I show it you so it's like you know one person's in the cave <laughs> protection of the cave and the other person is at home and then you flip it and then it's like that way around I don't I don't know <laughs> I'm not quite sure but uh yeah it does worry me a little bit that that one's in the in the reverse so um uh sort of over here as well you can't see these very well but I'll kind of bring them over to you uh there is some sort of change there is some kind of communication and some sort of change uh there's deep emotions this is depth and like uh temperance is like patience balance like waiting it out getting getting your emotions and your passions in check and waiting before this change comes in possibly um so i think what i'll start to do is run through some of the songs that came through with this reading so um the two of cups got um ain't nobody by the hush tones i'll just pull up the lyrics and talk you through that a little bit okay so i've pulled up the lyrics for this song so ain't nobody loves me better by the hush tones captured effortlessly that's the way it was happened so naturally i didn't I didn't know it was love. The next thing I felt was you holding me close. What was I going to do? I let myself go. And now we're flying through the stars. I hope this night will last forever. Ain't nobody loves me better. Makes me happy. Makes me feel this way. Ain't nobody loves me better than you. I've been waiting for you. It's been so long. That's why the temperance card is there, right? Uh, I knew just what I would do when I heard your song. You filled my heart with a kiss. You gave me freedom. I knew I could not resist. I needed someone. Make, make my wish upon a star. I hope this night will last forever. Okay, so uh, really, really lovely. Very lovely. Like, typ typical, like, getting swept up in a romance thing, right? Also, make a wish upon a star. That's literally this. This is the star card. It talks about destiny, destined path. The wishing world talks about wishes. So it's like wishes coming true, okay? So, again, starts off really, really well. But I feel like there are complications here. Uh, the strength card is here. It's like this relationship gives somebody a lot of strength. Um, it's like kin kindred spirits, right? Again, this feeling of like being different, but being like joined together, that, that figure eight symbol there in a hands talks about soulmate relationships, um, uh, bonds that can't be broken, could have shared past lives with this person. It's like, and you know, I'm thinking of me, I loved you before I met you by um, uh, Savage Garden. Uh, but there's this feeling of like distant horizons. So I don't know if it's going to, if you, you are at a huge distance from each other, which would explain why one person showing is upside down, right? <laughs> Different sides of the world. Um, you know, you're at a distance from each other or this relationship can go the distance or a feeling of like travel movement. Um, this card here, the journal card, this talks about knowledge that's hidden. Um, again, we could be talking about Akashic Records here with these two cards together. Uh, something written in the stars, something that's destined. Um, but it's under lock and key here. There's something there's, there's something being hidden. There's some kind of secret. Um, have I got a songs for any of that? I do indeed. And it actually just came out for the Libra reading I did, did today, uh, which will be uploaded tomorrow. Um, so I'm recording this on Sunday evening. I've just done the Libra's reading and it's scheduled for uh, midday English time uh, tomorrow. Uh, so these two cards then, I, I got um, Jefferson Aeroplane, Somebody to Love. When the truth is found to be lies and all the joy within you dies, don't you want somebody to love? Um, you'd better find somebody to love. Uh, when the garden flowers... When the garden flowers, baby, you're dead. Yes, and your mind, your mind is so full of red. Don't you want somebody to love? Your eyes, I say your eyes may look like his. Yeah, but in your head, baby, I'm afraid you don't know where it is. Tears are running down. They're running down your breast. And all your friends, baby, they treat you like a guest. Don't you want somebody to love? So it's like maybe wishing for somebody to love. Um, maybe somebody's been hurt in a previous relationship. So they've made a wish for somebody who's on their wavelength, a soulmate to come in. Um, but there's some kind of lies, right? There's some kind of deception, which I feel is why this is here. Uh, with this is this card here, the Page of Cups, can symbolize an apology. Um, the message, you know, a message somebody could be apologizing or coming forwards with uh, a new love connection. Noticing as well the two kind of 
clownfish are they on this card up here and there's one clownfish kind of going into a stomach there um possibly there's something to do with hmm i'll come back to what i was about to say okay moving up here sorry to keep uh, stopping and restarting i'm just kind of checking my notes and making sure i'm uh, explaining this properly in the way because it was a couple of weeks ago that i did it so i need to keep checking my notes interesting again right i was going to say about possibly something to do with a baby or pregnancy uh like this fish going into the stomach you've got this egg here in this person's stomach a uh, cave and protection so um somebody could be protecting a nest egg or protecting a baby the cave could symbolize the womb the cave also could symbolize like um you know home having a safe place feeling protected so uh the song that you got for the cave card was um unbelievable by emf um you burden me with your questions. You'd have me tell no lies. You're always asking what it's all about, but don't listen to my replies. You say to me, I don't talk enough, but when I do, I'm a fool. These times I've spent, I've realized to shoot through and leave you. Don't obviously don't shoot anyone. Um, the things you say, your purple prose just gives you away. The things you say, you're unbelievable. You burden me with your problems by telling me more about mine. I'm always so concerned with what, with the way you say you've always you have always go to stop what to think of us being one it's more than i ever know but this time i realize i'm going to shoot through and leave you um you're unbelievable seemingly last less don't mean you can't ask us pushing down the relative bringing out your higher self think of the fine times pushing down the best of you instead of bringing out the clues to what the world and everything you ask to brace yourself with degrees of ease i know this world ain't what it seems i don't know you burden me with your questions, you'd have me tell no lies, you're always asking what it's all about, but you don't listen to my replies. Hmm, what's going on? Hmm, you're unbelievable. Ow, oh, I love that song though. Uh, so then the Queen of Pentacles got Prisoner by Miley Cyrus and Dua Lipa. So the Queen of Pentacles is usually, um, it can be a wife, a boss. Um, basically, it's normally somebody who's working as a team with somebody else. But she's very, very nurturing, very practical, very grounded. She's kind of got the day-to-day -day things covered. She may be very career orientated. Uh, she's um, probably takes after herself in terms of like, she makes sure she's got all the things she needs around her to make herself comfortable. Um, she's a little bit money-minded as well. But the song Prisoner, right? prisoner prisoner locked up can't get you off my mind lord knows i've tried a million times uh, why can't you why can't you just let me go strung out on a feeling my hands are tied she just kind of looked like her hands are maybe behind her back there on that picture strung out on a feeling my hands are tied your face on my ceiling i fantasize oh i can't control it um i try to replace it with city lights i'd never escape it i need the high i can't control it you keep making it harder to stay but still i can't run away i've got to know why can't you why can't just you just let me go prisoner prisoner locked up can't get you off my mind lord knows i've tried a million times um i tasted heaven now i can't live without it i can't forget you and your love is the loudest um yeah don't know don't know somebody's really caught up on someone right somebody's hung up on somebody so with this marriage card, um, it does look like somebody's coming in, um, but you may have more than one person coming in here. There is three on that card because the, the song that you got for this wedding card, marriage card, is Two Princes by Spin Doctors. One, two, two princes kneel before you. Are you, have you got two people proposing to you that's what i said now princes princes who adore you just go ahead head now one has diamonds in his pocket that's some bread now and this one said he wants to buy you rockets ain't that's in his head now um this one he's got a princely racket got some big seal upon his jacket you marry him your big seal right the on that letter seal somebody could have you know fancy ancestry you marry him your father will condone you you marry me your father father will disown you um, marry him, marry me, I'm the, the one that loved you, baby, can't you see, I ain't got no future or family tree, I know what a prince and lover ought to be, so, hmm, someone could have more than one person interested in them here, but then you've got this prisoner, so it's like, is somebody tied to one person, but they want to move towards somebody else, uh, with this gambling card here, with the die, uh, which symbolises a, a roll of the, a roll of the die, a leap of faith, um 
good fortune luck coming in which is interesting because on in the underline over here you also have the clover which also symbolizes good fortune so there could be something about um a turn of fate getting lucky in a situation something like this um this got a uh, myth by beach house so i'm going to pull up the lyrics okay so um drifting in and out see the road you're on you came rolling down the cheek you said just what you need and in between it's never as it seems help me to name it if you built yourself a myth you'd know just what to give what comes after this momentary bliss the consequence of what you do to me help me to name it found yourself in a new direction arrows falling from the sun can you come would they would they come to breach you would they come to breach you right that means would they come to i don't know like help you escape because there's a prisoner uh, let you know that you're not the only one. You can't keep hanging on to all that's dead and gone. If you built yourself a myth, you'd know just what to give. Do you lie? Oh, let the ashes fly. So I don't know if somebody has to close out one situation to move towards another situation, possibly. Um, you also got kind of tying up down here. Uh, I can't remember the meaning of it, but you got outrageous by Britney Spears. Outrageous when I roll my body. Outrageous when I want a party. What's... <laughs> I'm going to look it up. <laughs> So, um, outrageous when I move my body, outrageous when I'm at a party, outrageous in my sexy jeans, outrageous when I'm on the scene, outrageous my sex drive, outrageous my shopping spree, outrageous we're on a world tour, outrageous let's be it girl. Sexy as I want to be, got these fellas chasing me, right? Um, it's about time I hit the streets, all of my girls still feeling me, be girl ain't lost the beat, jumped over drama and I landed on my feet. Got to keep going, there's no stopping me. And if you don't like it, then la, 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 la. Media's over here. Come through me like a world premiere. Trench coat on my underwear. Let's go with this freak show. I'm about to bring the heat, locking down the industry, all dressed up and glamorous, red carpets and cameras. Take trips around the globe. Tints on the Jeep so nobody knows. It's so hot that you're coming out of your clothes. Um, I just want to be happy. There you go. I just want to be happy in a place where love is free. Can you take me there? And when you mention my name, make sure you know the truth until I vow to keep it forever. I just want to be happy. Um, and when you mention my name, make sure you know the truth until I vow to keep it forever. So again, it could be something to do with marriage there. Um, hmm. Okay, here with this, um, the page of emotions and the message and this building of a bridge. The reason why I'm saying it could be an apology particularly is because this bridge is here, building bridges, right? Crossing the gap, crossing the divide. Um, for others of you, um, it could be some sort of love, love offer coming forward. You can see the heart radiating there. Um, this stuff about the belly and the eggs, though, is giving me... It is giving me pregnancy. It could be that somebody's just saying, look, I want to marry you and have your babies, right? Um possibly there is some kind of the heritage of a baby possibly contested or there's something going on there's some kind of question mark surrounding some sort of baby possibly as a side message for somebody that's probably not for everybody um but the song that kind of clarified this and this was Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses. I love this song. It's like one of my favourite songs. Um, she's got a smile that it seems to be, reminds me of childhood memories, where everything was as fresh as the bright blue sky. Now and then when I see her face, she takes me away to that special place. And if I stare too long, I'd probably break down and cry. Oh, oh sweet child of mine, sweet love of mine. She's got eyes of the bluest skies as if they thought of rain. I'd hate to look into those eyes and see an ounce of pain. So it could be somebody, like, literally somebody singing to their child as well. Her hair reminds me of her hair reminds me of a warm, safe place where as a child I'd hide and pray for the thunder and the rain to quietly pass me by. Where do we go now? Where do we go now? I don't know. Where do you go with that? <laughs> um, the bridge um, got queer by garbage um queerest of the queer um now again this is a song um i don't want i mean is it is it politically correct to use that word uh, i've been told it is but it still feels a bit strange for me to say the word queer it feels like old-fashioned it feels like what you know grandmas and granddads <laughs> back in the day would say um so i don't know i don't know if it's like you know, with queer eye for a straight guy, I don't know if it's like a, a word that's been kind of reclaimed, 
but um, I don't know. It's still it's like a word that feels uncomfortable in my mouth, but anyway, uh, not because I've got any any issue with anyone's sexuality. Like I'm totally like yeah, everybody do what you, what you, whatever you want to do, you know. But um, I worry about the politi politically correctness of that specific word. But anyway. Uh, hey boy, take a look at me. Let me dirty up your mind. I'll strip away your heart veneer and see what I can find. Uh, the queerest of the queer, the strangest of, strangest of the strange, the coldest of the cool. Interesting. Remember, coldest of the cool, that's going to come back. The lamest of the lame, the numbest of the dumb. I'd hate to see you here. You choke behind a smile, a fake behind the fear. This is what he pays me for, ooh. I'll show you how it's done. You'll learn to love the pain you feel like father, like son. Hide inside your head, the blindest of the blind, the deadest of the dead. You're hungry because you starve while holding back the tears, choking on your smile, a fake behind the fear. I know what's good for you. You can touch me if you want. I know you're dying too. You can touch me if you want. I know what's good for you. You can touch me if you want, but you can't stop. Uh, so, uh, mm, I love garbage, love garbage, like the songs, but when it comes to like actual healthy relationships, maybe not so much, <laughs> maybe it's not that healthy. I don't know. Somebody's dying to, uh, Hmm. Uh, what else do I have then? The Hearth Reversed um, gave me Dark Paradise by Lana Del Rey. Okay, so here we go. I've got the lyrics up. I'm going to put it the right way up. Um, but yeah, with it being reversed, it's like I don't know if there's some kind of problem uh, in some kind of home life. Um, all my friends tell me I should move on. I'm lying in the ocean. Right, I'm lying in the ocean singing your song. Ah, that's how you sang it. Loving you forever can't be wrong. Even though you're not here, won't move on. That's how we played it. And there's no remedy for memory. Your face is like a melody. It won't leave my head. Your soul is haunting me and telling me that everything is fine, but I wish I was dead. Uh, if you are having suicidal thoughts or anything like that, please do speak to a doctor or a friend or family member, somebody that you can confide in, reach out for help, support line. Every time I close my eyes, it's like a dark paradise. No one compares to you. I'm scared that you won't be waiting on the other side. Every time I close my eyes, it's like a dark paradise. No one compares to you. I'm scared you won't be waiting on the other side. All my friends ask me why I stay strong, right? The strength card. Uh, tell them when you find true love, it lives on. That's why I stay here. I don't want to wake up from this tonight. There's no relief, I see you in my sleep, and everybody's rushing me, but I can not I can feel you touching me. There's no release, I feel you in my dreams, telling me I'm fine. I don't want to wake up from this tonight. Well, getting deep, right? And then, to clarify the King of Pentacles, you've got another Lana Del Rey song. So do you remember me talking about remember about being cool? Um, you're so cool. Uh, you got Shades of Cool uh, by Lana Del Rey. So King of Pentacles is the equivalent of the uh, Queen of Pentacles. It's somebody who's could uh, it's earth sign energy, but doesn't have to be. You've also got like Leo here. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, but it's like somebody who's very grounded, very practical, probably quite career orientated. They put the bread on the table. They keep things running. They keep things ticking. They keep a nice house and home. They are uh, very grounded, solid, dependable um, energy. Um, a good person to go to for advice, the King of Pentacles. So you've got Shades of Cool by Lana Del Rey. My baby lives in shades of blue, blue eyes and jazz and attitude. He lives in California too and he drives a Chevy Malibu. And when he calls, he calls for me and not for you. He lives for love, he loves his drugs, he loves his baby too. But I can't fix him, can't make him better. And I can do nothing about his strange weather. But you are unfixable. I can't break through your world. Because you live in shades of cool, your heart is unbreakable. Hang on, I've lost my place. My baby lives in shades of cool, cool hands and heart and aptitude. He lives for love and women too. I'm one of many, one is blue. And when he calls, he calls for me and not for you. He prays for love, he pays, prays for peace and maybe somebody new. But I can't help him, can't make him better and I can do nothing about his strange weather. Okay, there you go. Make of that what you will. Um, then you've got this judication card which came out with... Um, Seven Nation Army by the White Stripes. Love the White Stripes. Really like that one with um, one of the videos. Uh, it's I Don't Know What To Do With Myself with uh, Kate Moss. Um, love that video. <laughs> um, so Seven Nation Army is what I'm Googling here. Seven Nation Army lyrics. Okay, here we go. 
I'm going to fight them off. A Seven Nation army couldn't hold me back. They're going to rip it off, taking their time back, right behind my back. And I'm talking to myself at night because I can't forget, back and forth through my mind behind a cigarette. And a message coming from my eyes says, leave it alone. Don't want to hear about it. Everyone's got a story to tell. So if you're in some kind of court thing, it's like everybody's got a different version of events, right? Everyone knows about it, from the Queen of England to the hands of hell. And if I catch you coming back my way, I'm going to serve it to you. Is somebody going to serve some kind of court paper? Um, and that ain't what you, you want to hear, but that's what I'll do. And a feeling coming from my bones says, find a home. I'm going to Wichita, far from this opera forevermore. I'm going to work the straw, make sweat dress sweat drip out of every pore and I'm bleeding and I'm bleeding and I'm bleeding right before the Lord all the words are going to bleed from me and I will think no more and from the stains coming from my blood tell me go back home go back home so somebody maybe someone left their home right I keep getting this though that somebody's going to return home like somebody's going to return to the parents or something like this um so obviously don't the bleeding I hope nobody's bleeding obviously go and get some help <laughs> find a doctor um all the words are going to bleed from me and I'll think no more. That gives me, um, it always gives me Macbeth, uh, the three witches of Macbeth. Um, uh, the Thane of, Dor the Thane of Mordor, not Mordor, the Thane, Thane of Cordor will sleep no more. Macbeth will sleep no more. Um, gives me that. Um, now, <laughs> to end on a slightly more fun note, because things got a bit dark there. Um, again, maybe somebody's wondering about the sex of a baby because this, this wishing well, wishes coming true, making a wish, a uh, fulfillment, uh, is let's talk about sex by salt and pepper. So let me just quickly Google the lyrics. <laughs> if you're not 18, maybe leave now. Let's, uh, it does help if I Google the right words. Let's talk about sex baby by salt and pepper. <laughs> right. I'm giggling already. I've not even pulled up the lyrics yet. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why. I don't know what this reading's about. Uh, Spinderella cut it up one time. Move it. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Uh, let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that may be. Let's talk about sex. Let's talk about sex for now to the people at home or in the crowd. It keeps coming up anyhow. Don't be coy. Avoid and make void the topic because that ain't going to stop it. Now we talk about sex on the radio and video shows. Many will know, anything goes. Let's tell it how it is and how it could be. How it was and of course, how it should be. Those who think it's dirty have a choice. Pick up the needle, press pause or turn the radio off. Will that stop us, Pep? I doubt it. All right then, come on, Spin. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Uh, hot to trot, make any man's eyes pop. She is what she got get whatever she don't got. Fellows drool like fools, but then again, they're only human. The chick was a hit because her body was booming. Gold pearls, rubies, crazy diamonds, nothing she ever wore was ever common. Her dates, head of state, men of taste, lawyers, doctors, no one was too great for her to get with or even mess with. The press says she was next on her list. And believe me, I can't, I can't rap. And believe me, you, it's as good as true. There ain't a man alive that she couldn't get next to. She had it all in the bag, so she should have been glad. But she was mad and sad and feeling bad, thinking about the things that she never had. No love, just sex, followed by, followed next by a check and a note that said last night was dope. So, um... Yo, Pep, I don't think they're going to play this on the radio. Why not? Everybody has sex. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, a funny way to, to close out that bit of the reading there. Um, so let's talk about sex then. So somebody possibly using their body to get some sort of an advantage, using the body to get close to people, uh, does have a ring of prostitution to it. Uh, I hate to say that. It kind of did actually come out in that Libra reading again today. Can confirm I am not a prostitute. <laughs> um but um yeah I don't I don't know I don't know I'm not judging anyone I'm not judging anybody for whatever they're getting up to you go and do you uh but it's maybe Libra had the song Carmen by Lana Del Rey again Lana Del Rey song um and it's like no love just sex right it's I don't know maybe somebody's looking for security maybe somebody doesn't want to be seen as maybe somebody doesn't want to be treated badly you know used for the body maybe somebody's like I want a commitment here, which, ugh, <laughs> throw the cards off the table, leads me to this section of the reading. 
and this this closing out so there's some kind of change here again you've got the seal on this letter so communication something being communicated temperance balancing out love and passion again this feeling of like no love just sex like somebody wants wants both right there's nothing wrong with sex but you want the love underlying it you want the deep emotions symbolized here by the lake because the song that came through for the lake <laughs> so being really dramatic now was um coffee and tv by blur so let me just pull up those lyrics too if i can get my tablet to work okay so it's funny actually the what's lurking around in the corner up here i'm going to bring it back down because it didn't quite go off the table there did it marriage is not off the cards guys um which i'm saying this for a reason because it's in this song so coffee and tv by blur do you feel like a chain store pra practically flawed Ugh. one of many zeros kicked around and bored your ears are full but you're empty holding out your heart to people who never really care how you are so give me coffee and TV peacefully. I've seen so much, I'm going blind and I'm brain dead virtually. Sociability is hard enough for me. Take me away from this big bad world and agree to marry me so we can start over again. So yeah, somebody's like, look, I'm over it. I'm, o I'm over all the kind of razzle dazzle. I'm over people wanting my body and not giving me the love in return or the respect I deserve. It's like, look, maybe it's this relationship. It's coming, right? It's changed things. Maybe that's the change. It's changed the way somebody sees the world. It changed what somebody wants from the world. It's like, I just want it to be... They're giving me... It's a really funny song, actually. Again, it's probably from a similar time to this Blur song. Uh, but it's... Um... Me and You versus the World Now by Space. So I'll remember that and I'll come to that one in a second. So let's keep going on here. Holding out your heart to people who never really care how you are. Do you go to the country? It isn't very far. There's people there who will hurt you because of who you are. There is a full of their language. There's wisdom there, you're sure. Till the words start slurring and you can't find the door. Take me away from this big bad world and agree to marry me. And we can start over again. Uh, so uh, me and you versus the world now. Always gives me a bit of a Bonnie and Clyde feeling. This one. <laughs> it's really funny as well. So again, like if you were if you were laughing at that Salt and Pepper song, this is another funny one. So it's a song by Space. Um, me and you versus the world. I first met you hanging knickers on the line. From that moment on, I knew that there could only be one outcome. Me and you against the world forever. You have no folks and I'm just a joke, but we made a vow that we would never sell each other out. A lie detector wouldn't make me doubt you. Now we know that, that it's us versus the world now. Me and you against the world now. Look up there in the sky now. See the stars while they're shining just for us. Hey now, me and you against the world now. Look up there in the sky now. See the stars while they're shining just for us. Uh, do... I don't know. Do be a little bit worried about... I hope nobody's actually has a gun or is using guns because there's a... That's come up a couple of times in a couple of the songs. I hope it's like a metaphor. Um... Okay, I'm going to read it. We hitched a ride that would turn out suicide. I had my rec I had my 45 replica gun. Okay, it's a replica gun. I didn't think we'd ever need it. Didn't know he had a real one loaded. You went in first, took the worst. Couldn't hear me shouting you to stop. Above the busy traffic passing by, we promised we'd be together till we would die. Maybe this is a soulmate connection from the past. Maybe this is like, this is like the past life. I keep seeing nine lives everywhere. They're like, I went... I went to another room the other day and there was a book that was called Nine Lives. And then like I keep seeing Catwoman from the Batman Returns movie where she's like, two lives left. I think I'll save one for next Christmas. So like, I don't know, I keep on getting this Nine Lives stuff. So I don't know if somebody has had past lives with somebody. Um, don't worry about a thing, my little sweetheart. We're together and we shall never be apart. You took a chance on a loser like me, but you never let me down. And whether we're in heaven or hell, I know it's better than separate cells. <laughs> now we know that it's us versus the world now. Right, let's get a song to close out this. Do you know what? Let's get an advice card. I need a, I need an advice. Get out of here. You can stay. You can, you can stay and you can stay. I like you too. 
Uh, and we'll keep the stars here in the destiny because that's quite nice. But let's get um, a oracle message. I'm going to use the energy oracle deck because it's really, really talking to me at the moment. So let's get um, that tied up again. It's always on the bottom of the deck at the moment. You know, somebody's a prisoner, right? Can't get you off my mind, off my mind. Can I get some advice for the people coming to this reading today, please? Uh, Daughter Romance is on the bottom there. Oh my God, you can't make it up. 33 and 44 as well. Look at those synchronistic numbers. Right, let's read it. Let's get it read. Here we go. So Daughter Romance, new beginnings in love. Whether you're looking for a new relationship or just some more love in the relationship you're in, the door with a heart the door with a heart opens into a new beginning in your experience. A new love may be arriving and you are be being brought together by a strong, resonant connection. This may be a call from a past life, literally can't make it up, what was I just saying? Or it may be a new tenderness to bloom, uh, about to bloom in a heartfelt affection. It may be a new tenderness about to bloom into heartfelt affection. This relationship already exists in energetic potential. So when this card appears in your spread, make sure you are projecting the kind of self-loving energy, again, that was in Libra's reading, that you want to receive from others. Be aware that the universe returns your self-caring treatment to you. It's ready to open that door, are you? Okay, and now we've got the woman holding a heart. A female dealing with a family, love or emotions. The woman on this card wears a beautiful butterfly in her hair and holds a lovely large heart in her hands. For a woman, this card upright could be a reflection of your own state of peaceful emotion and receptiv receptivity for love. Or it might be a message that your family issues are going to resolve. You're an intuitive woman who understands the emotions of life and you're bringing that awareness to all that you do. This card upright could also indicate the presence of a female friend, teacher or confidant who's here to help with issues of love, family or emotion. This is an even-tempered and caring person who resonates with you and your emotions. This could also pretend a new love interest or friend coming your way. So lovely, lovely, right? I love a good love reading. Let's get you a, a song to close out this reading then. It's so nice. Like you saw those cards come out. Um... Spotify, I need you right now. I need you, I need you, I need you right now. I need you right now. Don't let me, don't let me, don't let me down. It's taking a long time to load. Um... Oh my goodness, I was just pulling a song up just to get the, uh, just to get it up and running. I wasn't particularly going to mention this song uh, till the sun turns back black. Uh, Be here now by Ray Lamontagne. Montan, I can't pronounce his name, I'm sorry. Um, be here now though. And I was just saying, I need you, I need you, I need you right now. I need you right now. Don't let me, don't let me, don't let me down. Be here now. Uh, it could mean be here in the here and now, like live for the moment. Uh, but again, you can look up that song and have a listen if you want and see if it is appropriate for your reading. Uh, but let's um, randomise the song then. Can I get... Um, the best song, the most meaningful song, the most important song that could possibly come through to anyone connecting with this reading, please. Hello? <laughs> Common People by Pulp. Um, a different class. Um, she came from Greece. She had a thirst for knowledge. She studied sculpture at St. Martin's College. That's where I caught her eye. She told me that her dad was loaded. This is one of my favourite songs. I said, in that case, I'll have a rum and Coca-Cola. She said, fine. And then in 30 seconds time, she said, I want to live like common people. I want to do whatever common people do. Want to sleep with common people. I want to sleep with common people like you. What else could I do? I said, um, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, take that and uh, have a listen to that song. Uh, definitely a bit of a twist. I'm not quite sure how it fits in, but that's the one that wanted to come out. So that's the one you've got. All right. Take care, guys. I hope that was helpful to you.